One of the factors which the Israelis failed to properly consider before this recent uptick in violence was the impact of social media. Traditionally, where the main sources of information were coming from mainstream sources, the Israelis could rely upon themselves to relay any information that they desired. And essentially, the knowledge and the information in the public sphere was coming from mainstream channels. This time around though, alternative channels have meant a democratization of the space. Resistance media are filming their own videos, releasing their own videos to their own Telegram channels, whilst they still don't have much access to the English mainstream. A number of journalists have been showing first-hand accounts of what is taking place on the Gaza Strip, the Israeli bombardment. This group includes journalists like Mu'taz Azaiza and also Saleh Al Jafarawi, who has been on the reviewing end of Israeli strikes. And these narratives remain even until now, showing a first-hand account of what is happening on the ground in Gaza. And now in terms of public perception, what this has meant is it's less about left and right and more so about younger and older generations. As polling has shown, older people are more likely than younger people to view Israel in positive light. And this public opinion is very, very important for Israel. They do not want to be like South Africa who are abandoned by the West when public opinion went left. For the long term, aspirations of the Israeli project American support is necessary. This leaked recording uh, from the chief of the ADL, an American-based Israeli advocacy group, shows the extent to which the advocates of the Israeli states have begun to realize this reality. But I also want to point out that we have a major, major, major generational problem. All the polling I've seen, ADL's polling, ICC's polling, independent polling, this is not a left-right gap, folks. The issue in the United States in support for Israel is not left and right. It is young and old. So then, the role of this Israeli propaganda then is to maintain Western support, mainly American support, to continue supporting the Gaza assault. As the hashtag MeToo movement was also popular amongst younger liberals, with the hashtag Believe Women often being used, some have mentioned that the recent Israeli drive to demand condemnation of alleged sexual crimes is an attempt to recast the Me Too movement in their favor. With the Me Too movement, many opined the view that it was actually too strong. The attitude was too strong in favor of validating all claims without much investigation. So the same expectation actually exists here. Israeli women must also be believed. If they aren't, then the double standard is evidence of anti-Semitism. Even some of the most vocal online critics of the Me Too movement, like Ben Shapiro, are now replicating many of the behaviors that they previously considered reprehensible. In recent weeks, many testimonies have been reported which detail gruesome stories of what is alleged to have taken place on the 7th of October. Gilad Erdan, the Israeli ambassador to the UN, has been particularly vocal in calling out the failure, as he sees it, of women's organizations to condemn the alleged sexual crimes. From a narrative standpoint though, some have seen that the Israeli demand for condemnation from liberal groups who have allied themselves with the Palestinian cause is really a call for those liberal groups to provide Israel with the justification for its assault on the Gaza Strip. The Electronic Intifada record through Ali Abu Nima that despite blanket coverage, Israel does not claim to have identified any specific victim of such crimes, nor produced any videos or forensic evidence corroborating that they took place. Whilst we have a lack of evidence provided, and no independent investigations, there is alleged proof of Israel actually faking rape evidence, as we have previously covered on this very channel. A bank of images and videos Israel claims are from October the 7th show a woman strewn on the floor appearing to have been assaulted. You may refer back to our video on five Israeli claims that were debunked, but in short, this image of this lady strewn to the floor was actually found on the internet predating October the 7th. And some have criticized this Israeli line, mentioning that it attempts to 
capitalize on a brute caricature more consistent with colonial age narratives. Here, the brute is a non-Western, non-enlightened barbarian who transgresses against purer and more civilized women. It has been argued that Israel are cynically using this narrative in order to justify the continued and prolonged bombing on the Gaza Strip. Over the coming days and weeks, it is expected that calls for increased evidence will increase. Many though remain hesitant to offer condemnations, wary of the role that their condemnations may play in justifying the Israeli assault on the Gaza Strip.